Now, there is a way in which the Holy Spirit is working with the church today. Uh, there is a way in which the Holy Spirit is constantly communicating to the church. So if you are truly born again, if you are a believer that is, if you believe in God, if you have faith, if you are trying to walk daily like Jesus Christ, if you are trying to purify yourself, if you are trying constantly to remove the filthy garment and to embrace the precious garment of salvation that Jesus Christ purchased for us on the cross, then the Holy Spirit is going to deposit in your heart that these are constantly the last days. So you will find that any communication that the Holy Spirit will be giving you, it will be preparing you or making you holy, making you righteous so that you can meet Jesus. That is it. He will always be visiting with you, talking to you, and modifying you to be more like Christ, to be more like Jesus. Okay? So, my friend, I want to tell you today that these are the last days. I see a lot of Christians. I see a lot of Christians, you know, they attend church regularly. They go to church. They go to fellowships. They study the Bible. And they're never changed. And actually, they live as if Jesus will not be coming anymore anytime soon okay but I want to tell you the truth today that Jesus is coming so soon and the time that we're living in I can call it the dispensation of grace these are the days that that Joel the prophet saw these are the days that 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 Daniel saw in fact somewhere in the book of Daniel 12 of verse 10 uh, when Daniel was talking about the end times when God gave him the visions of the end times how the end times will be he said somewhere that in those days many will be purified but the wicked will not understand the wicked will continue in wickedness they will not really understand okay so ask yourself if you are a Christian do you have that constant awareness that you know if I live recklessly, Jesus Christ can come anytime and I'm going to miss the rapture. Or, uh, if I, re I live recklessly, you know, I'm not really going to make it to heaven because Jesus, you know, needs us to be holy and I'm not holy. There are some few things you know, I've not made right with Christ. So, I see a lot of Christians today that, you know, they think that, you know, we still have a lot of time here and they don't want to prepare, you know, they, though they are in Christianity, but they don't know the fact that Christianity is a lifestyle. Okay. And then something else that you also need to know is that the moment you have that constant awareness that Jesus Christ is coming so soon, it's really not going to be easy. For you as a believer to you know backslide engage in some simple sins small small sins you know that you say you know because i i you know jesus will come sometime later so i can do this for now and then when that time comes so i'll i'll repent you know before that time comes okay my friend you're fooling yourself this call that we were called it is called a holy call when you are called into this walk there's a total a total submission surrender you know you become fully dependent on God so when your life is dependent on God and when you have it in mind that Jesus Christ will come any moment soon it is not going to be easy for you to fall away from faith okay so my blessed friend my dear brother in Christ my dear sister wherever you are I want you to have that mind you know even if you look at the way things are happening in the world today when you check on the pestilences the rumors of wars the recklessness the pride the arrogance the carelessness you know of people around and the state 
of the nations today the earthquakes the famines the fires the droughts all those things the massacres you know when you look at them one thing should ring in your mind that actually we don't belong here and a true believer have it in mind that you know if a you know you have it in mind that you know this world you just long for heaven that is in short what i'm trying to say you feel that your heart longs for heaven remember you are an ambassador ambassador must always represent the state from which he or she is coming from okay so if you are ambassador of heaven then bear the fruits of heaven bear the gifts of the, the fruits of the holy spirit that is what i mean and then prove that you are truly a believer and then everybody will actually believe you know this modern christianity uh the present generation they don't need a new definition of christianity they only need a demonstration they need a demonstration they need a reality okay so if you are a christian is your lifestyle a reality that is it are you tired of lukewarmness are you tired of just playing church are you tired of just reading the bible for the sake of it are you tired of these things so that is the question today and uh, uh my friend i want you to know that any moment Jesus will step on the clouds and when he comes nothing is really going to matter but that personal relationship remember this is not going to be about your church it's not going to be about your denomination your christian religious organization your bishop your pastor what is going to matter is that have you made things right with god do you have a personal touch with the holy spirit Have you been living in constant communion with the Holy Spirit? Have you been living for Jesus Christ? Are you a bride prepared to meet the Savior? That is it. So, uh, I want to encourage you to walk holy, walk pure as you prepare for the coming of Jesus Christ. And then in the meantime, just check, repent, confess your sins. Remember, it is the weight of the sin that is going to hold you backward or downwards. The gravity of sin, that is what is going to, to hold you when the pure spotless bridegroom will be snatched away. So if you are heavily laden and you've not surrendered everything to Jesus, then it's not really going to be possible for you to make it to heaven. So blessed friend, today is your day. Today is your day. Don't miss this opportunity to make things right with God. This is your best time to meet God. This is the best time to make things right. And this actually is the best time to tell God that you really long for him. So may God bless you till next time. Thank you. You can share this video for the grace of God.